how's the how's the off season been? Off season's been good, you know. Um, it's been uh, it's been fun to get away, but you know, I I think uh, at least for me, that last game's really been on my mind a lot, you know, um, cause how well we did play and uh, the potential that we have. So you know, just it's been a very uh, it's been a very eventful, hardworking off season. I think for me personally, I think for a lot of guys. Yeah, um, I just think how I feel walking off the field, how I feel. How did you feel walking off the field and what has been your reflection on that? Oh, I just, you know, you know, you look at it on both sides. You look at it as, um, you look at it as the point of how well we played in that first half. And then you see about also where we needed to improve. But you, like, so it's like, a, it's like a dual thing, you know, it's like a good and bad. So you see where we can go and the potential that's there when we put it all together. But it's about the consistency now and putting it all together. And I think also that comes with, um, I think I said this too on, on another interview about uh, everyone playing together, you know, like everyone, like Khalil, Mack, me, JC, Fox, you know, last year was the first time we all came together as a team, Kenneth Murray, you know, and now I think we had a lot of younger guys, you know, Zant, other people in the backfield, Vato, a lot of guys that kind of were playing together for the first time. So I feel like this year that chemistry was built. You know, I, I feel like chemistry is built through trials and tribulations. And um, I really believe that that really is going to shape us in a way better way, in a way better way moving forward. So, yeah. Where do you think this team can go this year? Uh, I, I, think, I think we can go as far as we want to go. You know, I think at the end of the day, we proved, we proved to everyone that we could go as far as we want to go. And the only per people that are stopping us is, are us, you know? And um, that's why that's why I'm very excited for this year, and a lot of people are excited for this year. How exciting was it to get, get Morgan back? I was very excited. It's my dog, you know, definitely. Um, you know, I've been playing with Fox now. It's going to be year six, I think, of playing with him. Yeah, or year five of me playing with him on the same team. So, yeah, Morgan's my dog, man. You know, it's easy playing with him. I know what he's thinking. He knows what I'm thinking. And, you know, not much needs to be said out there. So it definitely helps. How much did you know uh, Eric Kendricks before you got here? And what have been your early impressions of him? Oh, yeah. I, obviously, you know, uh, Eric is obviously one of the top backers in the league for a while now. And uh, what he's done on the field is phenomenal. But I think what's awesome about him is all the things you hear. You've heard about him off the field, you know, what type of guy he is. And um, everything I've seen, you know, stands true. You know, hard worker, uh, puts his nose down, gets to work, smart. And i um, super excited to play ball with him to see, to see uh, the football side. With, with Eric, Derek and Brandon all talked about like, you know, just his experience and mm -hmm. leadership. Yeah. Having that type of experience and leadership at that position, specifically yeah. like at Mike Linebacker, from your spot up in, in the front, like, what does that do having a guy with that much intelligence, experience, all those? Yeah, it helps a lot. You know, um, It just kind of brings a calmness to it. And I think communications is probably just the biggest thing, you know, especially as D-Lyman. Um, you know, we are obviously in charge of certain things, but there's certain things that we cannot see because, you know, at a certain point, the, we have our hand down. I think having uh, Eric back there is going to definitely help us make get those adjustments faster, you know, less waste of time, less thinking. Um, he'll be able to see that faster and get it communicated to us and that help, honestly, everyone play faster because at the end of the day, um, you can't play defense slow, you know. The moment you're... The moment you're a step behind or, you know, you miss something, that's how you get guys. So it's definitely going to help us for sure. It might be a weird way to ask this, but you were on a team that came off a Super Bowl loss. This team's coming off a bad way to end the season. Yeah. Through the off season, how do you let that drive you but not let it consume you or the team? No. It, it, I mean, it does consume me, though. I think that's the part about it. Like. I think if you're a competitor and you want to be, you know, you want to be great. I don't, I'm not speaking for anyone, at least for me. Like that consumed me, you know. I felt like, at least where I go into training, when I, the way we lost, I've never lost like that before. I mean, I think the closest thing I ever lost like that was probably 2020 versus the Green Bay Packers at Lambeau. But like, even that way, you know, it was like a battle kind of back and forth, back and forth. And then we kind of just kind of bend and broke a little bit. But 
the way we lost, I've never lost like that before. So that really like, at least with me, like it really like made me think about myself as a player, what I could do better, how I could be a better leader, how I could have helped make an extra play. And it just honestly lit a fire under me. And I'm pretty sure, you know, a lot of guys are wired that way. You know, a lot of guys in, in the organization are wired that way, you know. Um, it definitely lit a fire under a lot of guys. And I think uh, you need that, honestly, as a competitor. Because at the end of the day, this is a job, but this is our livelihood. And I love playing this game. You know, I don't, I don't go out each and every day, put my body on the line to lose, especially when you're up 27-0, right? So um, if it doesn't bother you, then something's wrong. If it doesn't consume you, then something's wrong. You don't love this game enough. So hope that answers. Let me try to ask it another way then. How does it drive as a positive and not a negative? Oh, oh exactly what I said in your approach, you reevaluating yourself as a player, you reevaluating the things that you need to work on, you need to improve on, the way you train, how hard you go. And, and honestly, I just think no matter what, it's always going to be that thing behind your back that pushes you, you know, like to never let, let your, whatever your part is in this, in this uh, team sport, whatever your part is, to make sure that you never allow yourself to let your teammates down or, or the man next to you down, you know, because at the end of the day, you never want to feel that feeling again. So. Uh, yes, the rookie, right? Yeah, yeah from USC. Yeah, really nice guy. What, um, what do you know about him? What can you guys help teach him? Um, honestly, I mean, he's an outside linebacker, right? So I, there's not really much I could teach him, really, besides the communication aspect. But I just met him today. He seems like a real good kid, real quiet, real nice. Um, and he has a great room. I mean, he's going to be in the room with Khalil Mack, Joey Bosa. So, I mean, you can't ask for a better situation. Kind of like, I felt kind of like me and my rookie year when I was in with like AD and Sue and all of them. So I think he's going to be fine, just fine in that room. <laughs> yeah, more so it's just like as, as veterans mm -hmm. with two legs and also obviously with overseas. Like what can you guys instill in them right away about what you want this culture to be, what this culture Oh, just the mentality, you know, just grit, um, rugged, tough and rugged football, man. Like that's what we're trying to instill here. And that's what we will instill here. Um, that's the mindset. That's the culture here that we're building. Um, yeah, it's just, just hard nose, getting your nose bloody, down in and down out football players, and that's it. Rough and tugged. Yeah, rough and tugged, yeah. <laughs> rough and tugged, yeah, yeah, yeah. Special, how much have you, uh, now that you've been here a year, yeah. how much have you seen the culture change? Um, no, yeah, I've definitely seen it change for sure. And um, what Coach Daly is building here is tremendous. You know, a lot of it goes goes out. You know, a lot of it goes to Coach Daly, and you know, shout out to him. He's been uh, really adamant of bringing that culture here, and you know, in free agency, bringing the guys he wanted to bring. And I've definitely seen it change over the year in the way he wants it. And I've seen an another shift again. You know, from the first time I was here to now, and um, we're definitely trending towards the right direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just think it's kind of what I touched on in the past. I just think the the camaraderie, how because now we're all used to one another, you know. Um, I think we're all used to one another now. We have another year with everyone being around each other, you know, and um, I think that plays dividends in any sport. It's just like ba I look at it like any other sport. It's just like basketball, right? Like when you have a starting five that first that's first playing that's first playing for the first time, like, you know, they're gonna be no look passes and stuff like that. But sometimes there's guys that are like, oh like, you know, like, oh I can't catch it. Like I wasn't expecting that. But it's the same thing. Football's the same exact thing. D line, same exact thing. Like you have to cover each other up when you're pass rushing. You have to be able to play off of each other when you're pass rushing. You gotta know how this guy rushes. You know, I know Morgan's a more finesse guy, so then I can't be as finesse either. I gotta be more. So that's how that those things kind of play out. Or even in the run, like I know, like if I'm taking my shot and I'm shooting the gap, I know that K9 is gonna come and make me right, even though I may be in the wrong gap, but I took a shot, you know, and stuff like that. I think that just comes with experience and knowing the players you play around. Um, and I feel like that's what we're building, and that's what we have now because everyone's kind of seen how we all, you know, everyone's seen how each other plays, and I think that's the biggest thing, the cohesion that's coming together. So, yeah. We got to see Austin Johnson back on the field today. I know he wasn't yeah. doing workouts with you guys.
the side. Just how encouraging is it to see him you know, working his way back? Oh, yeah. Andrew? Very encouraging, man. You know, uh, AJ, you know, is a big part of this defense, and he will be moving forward. And I'm just super excited to have him back, man, especially through the injury he went through. And, you know, his mental toughness to be able to persevere where he went through, man, is nothing but credit to him, man, for sure. Super excited. What's going to be? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that was dope. That was dope. That was super dope. Any other? I mean, other than it being dope, any other? <laughs> 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 Thank you. Nah, I just, I mean, that's all it was cool, honestly. Like, uh, yeah, that was dope. 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 Yeah, he slid. Like he slid. He, slid. he went crazy. Like he did. He did a good job. And is Keenan someone who's often heard singing, like in the locker room? Uh, I feel like actually I've heard him, especially last year. I've heard him sing a couple times, like you know, like humming some tunes and stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I didn't even know. I honestly didn't even know he was like a singer, singer though, until I think. I probably say like midway towards the year, because I I would hear him like humming some tunes, and then and then. Uh, for some reason, like something came up about his music, I was like, "Oh wow, he actually like makes music. This is, this is dope." So yeah, now, he did his thing for sure. It was dope. What, uh, especially with the run defense last year, what, yeah. what do you guys have to do to to improve on that? What's going to be the differences? I think the biggest the biggest difference is just everyone being on the same page. And again, I think I think us having that experience together um, because now. Everyone knows what the expectation is, you know. Um, I think having Eric here as well is definitely going to help, you know, with the communication on things. And I just think, at the end of the day, just just coming together as a team and using those experiences and um, learning from last year, learning from the mistakes that we made, you know, because um, run defense is everyone. You know, I, I feel like a lot of people don't really know. They think it's like, oh. D line, and it's like, yeah, it's D line, but it's, all, it's everyone. <laughs> it really is. It really is everyone, and it's a mindset. And um, I think you know having Eric back there is definitely gonna help help with that, help with the mindset, help with the communication, help with people getting in the right spots faster, helping people get in the right spots faster by dissecting what he sees. And um, yeah. Seeing him in the meeting room, what's it been like with Derek as a coordinator? Now? Oh, it's been it's been great. It's been great, man. Uh, you know, he has this calm urgency about him that I really enjoy. And, uh, you know, it's intense, but it's calm. You know, it's, it's really interesting. I really like his mentality, what he's bringing. It's a new energy. And uh, it's, I think it's everything that we need right now because we're in a, we're, that's what we need. We need to be able to stay calm, but also have urgency to be able to do our job. So, yeah, I like it.